tortilla. I found the recipe for secret donut XY. Well, let's have a look, see. Aw, oh, nuts. It's written in some kind of picture code. You'll have to decode this before I can make you a secret donut XY. I'll leave it here on the counter for you. Hmm, it looks like I'm going to need to use some counterintelligence to break this culinary code. Bobby Llama wrote his donut recipe in some kind of picture code. I'm sure it will be no match for my keen spy intellect. I did it! I've cracked the culinary code for Secret Donut XY. It really was no match for a super spy such as myself. Uh-huh. Let me have a look at it. Yes, yes, not too difficult. Okay, not a problem. You just need to bring me some fresh tapioca from the heart of the jungle. Fresh tapioca? Uh-huh, from the jungle. Right, fresh tapioca from the jungle. Using this talk balloon will help me gather information about finding tapioca for Secret Donut XY. The jungle has been the backdrop for many Hollywood movies. Hello there. The name's Fox. Spy Fox. What are you doing up here? I'm Stanley Ellington Seagull, intrepid adventurer. I'm on safari. A safari, hmm? How exciting. Do you know where I can find some fresh tapioca? I should say so, old bean. It's the only thing I've found to eat in this dreadful jungle. Morning, noon and night, it's tapioca, tapioca, tapioca. It's simply ghastly. I'd give the Queen's royal jewels for a brown gravy glazed donut. Well, that sounds like a very interesting trade, but how about some tapioca for the donut instead? For a brown gravy glazed donut, you can have the whole bag of tapioca. Look, I can make a laugh riot without even telling a joke. I'd better toss it outside. I don't want to disturb the donut maker.
<laughs> What's that? Why, officer, I do believe some hooligans have started a laugh riot out in the street. Hooligans? Laugh riot? Well, I'll just see about that. <laughs> All right, you hooligans, come on out. You can't hide from me forever. Gee, I hope I didn't cause that officer any trouble. He looked kind of bored anyway. I'm not sure why, but I'd like a brown gravy glazed donut, please. Coming right up. Get your fresh fried donut right here. Thanks, Pia. I'll just save this for later. Wow! It's hot here. It's not so much the heat as it is the humidity. Here you are, Stanley. One delicious, if not nutritious, brown gravy glazed donut. Jolly good. That hit the spot. Here you are, then. One bag of the freshest tapioca you'll ever find. Thanks, Stanley. Tasty tapioca, a key ingredient to success. Here you are, Pia. Fresh tapioca straight from the jungle. Can you make me a secret donut XY now? Well, I'll be fresh tapioca. One secret donut XY coming up. <laughs> There you are, Mr. Fox. One fresh, hot, secret donut XY. Enjoy! Thanks, Pia. This donut could be the key to saving the entire planet. Oh my gosh! Planet Broadway is in danger? Eh, no. Planet Earth. Oh! Hmm... destined to be the reigning baroness of beauty. Even as a child, I knew how to accessorize. As a teenager, I started experimenting with making my own blush and sunscreen. All of which were far superior to the major brand. And from there, Poodles could not be stopped in her rise to the top of the cosmetics world. She was there to take advantage of every major cosmetic catastrophe. The compact crash of 97. The Bay of Polish in 98. But now she has gone too far. What will happen when Poodles' arsenal of aerosol breaks through the ozone layer? Everyone will either base themselves with my SPF 2001 sunscreen or broil like lobsters. As they say, live and let fry. 